Hey everybody, this is Arnabless98, and here is Optimus Prime with his uh, trailer. It's also his armed weapons platform, as seen in Transformers: Dark of the Moon. Um, yeah, um, this wasn't this wasn't originally gonna be a Brick Fair surprise, but I guess it did because I I finished him like a few days before Brick Fair, but I just didn't have time to film the video. And I actually started this guy like uh, way back in March. I worked on it on and off, like it was just a prototype with a bunch of flimsy hinges and and plates and. It only, it only like became like this like a few days before Brick Fair, um, after my big Brick Link order was placed. And yeah, let's look into the trailer. Um, this video is about the trailer, but if you want to see the video about Optimus himself, which I highly recommend you do, since he is my favorite Transformer I've made, um, you just follow the link in the description. So you just attach him, and flip out this little stand. And here's the trailer itself. Uh, it's pretty much a box, uh, nothing really special to look at. Um, I did love how the grills turned out. This design inside was really tricky for me to make. Like this section right here, I used a new like uh, curved like slopes, but these sections have to be filled in with cheese slopes. It looks kind of ugly, but I think it looks nice from a distance. There's also this hinge here, which is kind of messy, but definitely got the shaping and the colors down for this. On the front, you can see this thing. Uh, I don't know what this is called on a truck trailer, but you could comment below if you do know. And this side, it's exactly the same. And just come into the back, you can see some doors, got out of the wheels at the bottom. I know this part could have been filled in more, but this is definitely for transformation. And then coming to the top, it's just a bunch of plates, um, or just studs. I added some plates here, but I wanted to keep the price down of the trailer a bit when I was brick linking it, so I decided to leave this all empty. It's just fine, because, I don't know, it, it looks fine, I think. Um, you can even stick things on top of it, since it's studs. Coming to the bottom, which is black, you see the hitch, and you got the little uh, support here. The trailer itself doesn't have too many features, but um, you just fold the support down. And then you can, like, come into the back here. And these doors are actually fake, they don't actually do anything. They did have the little rear lights here, but this is necessary for transformation into his armed uh, weapons platform mode. But yeah, these don't move, it's necessary for stability. I guess it's fine because he Prime doesn't actually carry anyone inside him in the movie, like in Dark of the Moon, so there's not really a point to have them open, but it would have been nice that I just couldn't do that. And coming to the top, the way to open the trailer is actually from the top, so you just take these sections and just fold them down on these double hinges on the side here. And coming inside here, um, you can see there's not too much room for anything. You can see these little light things, you know what they're going to become. And well, Prime can't really fit any Autobot cars or even his jet wing if I, when I eventually make that. He can store, there you go, all of his weapons. Uh, these are all the weapons I've showed off in Prime's you know, past two videos. And all the weapons are packed up. This is actually how I stored them all for Brick Fair, which is really convenient. I did show this before, but there is a little a little uh, axle here. And next to that, I modified my Primes trailer to have this ring piece. It just slots right in there, and it holds together very nicely. Yeah, lengthwise, the trailer is like almost 11 inches long. You just convert that to centimeters if you want. And Prime and the trailer is like... 15 and a half inches, which is respectable, I guess. I remember when I was scaling the prototype to Prime, I think I got the lengths almost exactly with the studs. However, while they are nice in length, um, the trailer is a bit uh, chubbier. It doesn't really matter. It, it, it's supposed to be like the same length as Prime. It sticks out a few studs, but size comparison, we have a minifigure, and we got a car, which is a crosshairs. Um, yeah, I really need to make more uh, First Trilogy Autobots. And since so this is one of my larger creations, here we have a can of soda for better sense of scale. It's about kind of the same height, maybe a few plates shorter. And a question I've asked myself, and I'm pretty sure some people might have asked, is can he connect to my Age of Extinction last night prime? Here we have him. Um, this design is so much better that you can see like, how the truck boats look. But yeah, since he does have a port here, 
Well, unfortunately, the answer is kind of, but it the the end of the truck is way too small because the proportion on this are is a bit off. But um, you can it doesn't go into the port, but I could just sit there. It looks kind of strange, but you kind of pretend it's like connected, <laughs> kind of like that. Uh, huh? But wait, there's more. This trailer actually can, can transform. Well, you saw the thumbnail, so first you got to remove remove all the weapons. And yeah, just like that. Now let's start with the transformation, huh, finally. Um, yeah, um, unfortunately Hasbro never made an actual like transforming version of the trailer, like like into his armory. They've done like a giant mech suit and like jetpacks, but yeah, I guess there was a problem with like concept art or something that came later in the film. And yeah, so I based mine off of a third party toy company called UFO Toys. They made this giant transforming armory for the leader prime. And for this size, this thing is probably one has one of the smoothest transformations I could do. Oh, for and let's start. First of all, you gotta remove the top panels. I hope I can keep everything in frame. Because this thing is gonna get pretty big. And you just need to fold these panels around and fold them like that. And same for this side. Like that. And this section here is not tabbed in. That's why I was kind of holding it in place. You gotta like fold this section up like that. It's kind of cool. It's revealed inside. Fold the hitch down, and then this section actually should, on this ratchet joint, you have to rotate this section 90 degrees, and then this section actually pulls up, and then the trailer itself will kind of sit down like that. Yeah, like that. And that's pretty drastic. Um, the cool part is the actual support here actually goes right into the, kind of rests on the, the tiles on uh, the back of the truck, kind of rests on the support here. And you just gotta rotate this forward, and I guess you can see what is going on. First of all, you gotta get rid of, gotta move these little racks out of the way. Just gotta pull them a little bit. And then you gotta bend them forward as far up as they can go for clearance purposes. And same for this side. You gotta wheel this down. And then you gotta bend. And then you gotta just bend this down. And bend this down. And this is where the fun begins, because this whole square will turn into a big ring. You gotta get the edges first and move them down one click at a time. Same with this side. One, and then two. And these sections will just drop down. They're supposed to be like little supports. And then you gotta bend it one more click. One, two, and that kind of bend itself. One, two. And then you got the little side panels. These need to bend twice too. One, two. And then one, two, there you go. And then you fold the racks back in, and you just gotta ratchet them into place. And you gotta rotate this, and you gotta fold the little edges here. I'm just gonna make it like that actually. And make sure this is kind of center, like it wobbles a little bit, so you have to center that. Make sure the supports are down, and bam, there you go, there's Prime's trailer. It's all done. All right, so I put my the armored weapons platform on my brand new turntable to give you guys a 360 view because it's really hard to move this thing since it's so big. And yeah, it's uh, pretty nice. I think it came pretty close to the UFO uh, trailer. Um, unfortunately, this isn't that movie accurate because in the movie you can see this thing kind of like it kind of turns into a bunch of like spikes and mechanical details. Like if you see the side of the trailer, this part would just build up into like a bunch of like detail and stuff you won't be able to tell it's a trailer and in the top section here is kind of open with some antenna or something and yeah so it kind of doesn't look like something that could be made physically if I want to make this 100% accurate but there you go and setting the trailer down the only bad part about the transformation is that this guy takes much longer to transform all right and here we have prime transformed and there you go, um, here's Prime with his armed weapons platform, um, I think the scale works pretty well here, since they do scale correctly in vehicle mode. Um, the biggest problem I have is that in the movie Prime walks through the scene like a closet, this Prime can't really fit through. I try my best to maximize the height while keeping it a circle shape and keeping it in proportion for vehicle mode, but this just didn't work out. And for a sense of scale, um, or size. The trailer from the end of the support is like 18 inches. And from top to bottom, um, the trailer is about like 
almost 10 inches tall, maybe nine and a half. And uh, one last feature this um, trailer can do, or the armed weapons platform. It is a weapons platform, so we have all the Prime's weapons, and let's just stick all the weapons onto this ring. Most of them just attached by studs, because a lot of these have like kind of studs. They just go on the anti-studs on the ring. They can fit all the weapons, minus the axe. I I just I was kind of lazy. I just didn't figure out a way to do that. Uh, let's do this. The shield kind of goes on the side. It's kind of like, and I think this is the position in the movie because this is these are the two weapons he uses to fight Shockwave, so they kind of stay like on the sides where his arms would be. And you got the uh, blaster here. I like to put the brass knuckles on the bottom, and then like the fake chest plate. I don't think this is something he would carry around, but I just like to stake him on the bottom. And to save time, I just stuck all the weapons on. This is a pretty cool look, to be honest. Even though all the weapons aren't really that accurate but it does store like all of them sticking on like that that's how I had them in brick fair it's a pretty impressive arsenal I know the axe I guess you could just lay it on the bottom it doesn't really matter yeah there you go and for a size comparison we got a little minifigure and we also got a soda can just a sense of scale it's probably two soda cans tall bring shockwave in you kind of recreate the Chernobyl scene at the beginning of dark of the moon yeah, I know. Uh, I need to make a jewelry for Shockwave. Maybe that's another big project. Yeah, so this is the end of this video. Um, yeah, I'm sorry this video is a bit long, especially for something that's just a box. Well, it's like a fancy box, but yeah. This is a very fun project for me to do and ch kind of a challenge because this is I never built something this big before and I don't think I've ever seen anyone attempt to make uh, Optimus Prime's trailer from Dark of the Moon that actually turns into the armored weapons platform. But yeah, I'm very happy with the end result. Um, it's a very smooth transformation for the trailer, and you could hold all the weapons in both modes. And I know I'm missing a few big accessories for Prime, notably his jet fire, uh, jet fire parts for the jet, jet power Prime, and also his jet wing from Dark of the Moon. I'll get to those eventually, just not so soon since I don't um, kind of I'm gonna be pretty busy soon. But I definitely will do, do those two upgrades and. Yeah, my next video is going to be the Brick Fair Surprise, or maybe even a hint of it, since that video is going to take a very long time to make. And yeah, that should be it. I'll see you guys then.